What's up, everybody? Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 18 of albums that are 40 years old in 2024 as we look back on 1984, 29 days in the month. We've picked that together. Our 29 favorite albums released in 1984 across all genres. No order for me, just kind of all haphazardly all throughout the month. I love all these albums. Tough to rank some of your favorite albums of all time, right? Sometimes we can do it, but, you know. 29, 30, 31 of them from a year he loves so much. Very difficult. But uh, today, debut album from this American band. It was released officially and originally December 1st, 1984, right before the holidays. I remember when it came out. It was uh, self-released on Ground Zero Records. It later got picked up by Elektra Records a few months later uh, and then released on Elektra in 1985. But I bought this when it first came out, as did a lot of people. It was recorded at uh, Steve Lawson Production Studio in Seattle, Washington, produced by the band themselves, along with Terry Date and Willie McKay. Metal Church. Self-titled debut. That's right. One of the great albums in heavy metal of the 80s. One of the great debut albums of its time as well. Of course, you got the... Uh, Gibson Les Paul, I'm sorry, Gibson Explorer, Gibson Lovely, has got Les Pauls on the brain, kind of sitting here, it's kind of forming like a weird little crucif crucifix type thing there, you got the moss and the earth and the kind of the mist and everything like that, kind of sitting in a cemetery, so to speak, right, got fog all over the place, and this, of course, the original lineup of David Wayne on vocals, the late David Wayne, Craig Wells, lead guitar, Kirk Vanderhoof, my buddy Kurt, on rhythm guitar, Duke Erickson, and Kirk Arrington on drums. It's a shame how many deaths we've had in the Metal Church family. So many folks from throughout their career we've lost over the years. The band still keeps keeping on. Kirk keeps keeping the band going. And I'm glad that he has. All right, so here on this album, man, one of the best one-two punches in all of heavy metal. Past, present, future, Beyond the Black, and Metal Church, the title track doesn't get much better than that terrific riffing i love the ferocious production of this album david wayne's great vocals outstanding then you got the kick-ass instrumental merciless onslaught which indeed is just that and then one of my favorite songs from the band and on this album is gods of wrath kind of a you know near seven minute long it's almost kind of like a power metal classic metal power ballad right before power ballads became the thing it's got this kind of mellow intro melodic chorus and then sledgehammer riffing comes in great metal screams right then mellow again back and forth just awesome terrific terrific song then over on side two fast and furious you get hitman in the blood my favorite nightmare the awesome battalions oh, italian kicks ass and then to finish off the album, why not do a cover? What cover are we going to do, Pete? We're going to cover Highway Star by Deep Purple. Sure, why not? Why the hell not? And it's done really, really well, too. You know what? I'd rather heard another original song. Yeah, sure. But I think in 1984, hearing a band do Deep Purple, a band that were just also on the comeback trail, right, with the Perfect Strangers at this time, same time, really, kind of, kind of neat, right? Kind of neat. So, yeah. Great debut album. Of course, uh, no charting position anywhere for this thing. This was uh, an underground metal release at the time, you know, when, when they got uh, picked up by Electra Records not too long afterwards. There was a bit of a buzz with the band. Started showing up on some big tours with other big bands, and then they released uh, The Dark in 1986, which got a good amount of uh, attention as well. But for most people, this debut is kind of where it all started, is where it all started. And for a lot of us, this is still their most special album. Something about it. It really resonated with a lot of us metalheads back in 1984. So yeah, that's my pick for today. Metal Church by Metal Church. Let us know what you think of this album. Down in the comments below, I know we've talked about it on Hudson Valley Squares recently, but we're talking about it again today. And uh, list your pick down below. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube altogether. 
all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Uh, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you tomorrow for pick number 19. You might be wondering, some of you, well, Pete, you, you were wearing the same hoodie, Bluer's Cold hoodie, yesterday. It's like, that's right. I had to record it yesterday because when you guys are watching this video, I will already be at the um, Hudson Valley Hotel and Conference Center in Newburgh, New York for the Newburgh Toy and Collectibles Fair. Chris Allo, myself, Wild Bill from Comic Book Geezers, Kirk Manning from Comic Book Geezers will all be exhibiting at this event. We'll have tables. We're going to be selling some stuff, some toys and comics and movies and collectibles and things like that. So if you live in the Hudson Valley and you got some time on your hands, you want to come by and say hello to us. I think, I think we've convinced Lynn Versace to come out today as well. So uh, we will be over there. So come visit us. It's on 7, Route 17K in Newburgh, New York, and uh, we'll be there all day from 9 to 5, so come look us up. And, uh, yeah, but we'll see you tomorrow. I promise I'll be wearing something different tomorrow. I promise, I promise. Stay tuned in just a little bit, because uh, by magic of YouTube television, I'm going to go from here to the uh, Toy Fair to Sweeney's in Walden, New York, so I can hang out with Mike Antonelli and we can rank our top 10 favorite appearances as a side man for Michael Brecker, the sax legend. Uh, that's coming up on Ranking the Albums in just a little bit, so don't miss that. Yeah, we recorded that last weekend. So, yeah, i got to stay ahead of the game, right? got to do that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Pete Parlo. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow morning, right? Take care. Bye-bye.